I think that, you know, it's somewhat similar. I didn't expect the patients to be as challenging in the sense that questioning what I think is the right treatment for them. A lot of times they come in and they say, well, I looked it up online and I think I have this or I really need an antibiotic. And part of it, I think, is society and I think we need to maybe take a step back a little bit, kind of, you know, especially with the antibiotics. That's one of my <laughs> things that I really wish that we could get a better, better control over because most of the sinusitis or, or virus, you know, everything is not necessarily treated with an antibiotic. And mm -hmm. I'm concerned that with the way that medicine is now with patients coming in and kind of telling you what they think they have or what they need, um, that makes it a lot more challenging. And, you know, I also, I remember the first, when we had our orientation at medical school, they said, you know, be prepared to kind of put your patients in front of your family. And I knew that going into it, but it's long hours. I think that it's definitely not a nine to five job. And, you know, you may see patients from that set time, but there's definitely charting afterwards. And even the, the people that you see and you, you know, for me, a lot of times I think about them after I leave work and say, you know, I really hope that that they're doing okay, that we did the right thing, mm -hmm. you know, think about them overnight, sometimes even lose sleep over them. Um, and so it's not just a clock in, clock out type of thing. It's, you know, it, it's with you all the time, mm -hmm. I think. You really have to embody the profession. Throughout. Right. And so that's why, you know, and going back to one of the questions about why do you want to go to medical school, you know, you have to really be passionate about it because... Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it's you. It's not just a job. Absolutely.